Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today, I'd like to help you check your oil. I wanna help you to check your oil. I say that in regards to Psalm 119, 105, and then Matthew 25, verses one through 13, where we are brought to the lesson of the lamp and the light, the lesson of God's word and God's oil. Now, the simple, quick way for you to test your oil, to check your oil and see where you are, is to look down at your feet and then look out to your path using 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Letting the word of God be the filter through which you see and you assess where you are and where you're going. And here are just a few passages that will help you to assess exactly where you're at and where you're going. To begin with, look to see whether or not you are flourishing in, producing, and witnessing to the fruit of the Spirit. Go to Galatians 5 and look at the list that God gives us that represents the presence of His Spirit, the presence of His oil in your lamp. Then go and Take a look at where you stand in relationship to the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. And most specifically at the very beginning, check your attitude against the Beatitudes in chapter 5 and see whether or not you're blessed and living out the presence of God's oil in your lamp. Next, I'd encourage you to go to Ephesians 6 and open up the full armor of God and see whether or not you are actually living in the full armor of God. From there, you might go to Acts chapter 2, verses 41 through 47, and see whether or not you are living out a devoted witness to our Lord, if you're being actively the church. And then you may go to 1 Corinthians 13, what some call the love chapter, and see whether or not your living is exemplifying the loving that comes with the oil that the Lord gives us in our lamp. When his spirit is in us and we are living spirit-led, we are living out the presence of the oil in our lamp. I pray this helps you to assess where you're at and to help others to do the same. And notice this is God's truth in love. It's his word, his will, and his ways. And when we see and can be this, it's all by his grace and it's all for his glory. Amen and amen.